המסכנת את ביטחון אזרחינו ואת עתיד מדינתנו. Israel's military actions in Gaza have sparked condemnation on a global scale. Colombian President Gustavo Petro recently escalated the rhetoric by urging the International Criminal Court to issue an arrest warrant for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Petro labeled Netanyahu's government as genocidal in its conduct of the conflict in Gaza. This move amplifies the international scrutiny on Israel's operations in the region and reflects a growing sentiment among certain world leaders regarding the severity of the situation. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu recently responded to Colombian President Gustavo Petro's call for his arrest over the conflict in Gaza with a sharp rebuke. Israel will not be lectured by an anti-Semitic supporter of Hamas, Netanyahu wrote in a post on X on Saturday. Petro's response was direct and unyielding as he addressed Netanyahu's legacy in history, branding him as a figure associated with genocide. By highlighting the tragic toll of innocent lives lost, particularly among children, women, and the elderly, Petro unequivocally condemned Israel's military actions in Gaza. Earlier this month, Colombia cut off diplomatic ties with Israel over the war in Gaza. Petro stood in solidarity with the Palestinians and displayed full support. He described Israel's siege of Gaza as genocide. He previously suspended purchases of weapons from Israel and compared that country's actions in Gaza to those of Nazi Germany. It cannot be. It can't return to the times of genocide, of the extermination of an entire people from our passivity. If Palestine dies, humanity dies. Historically, Colombia and Israel maintained a close partnership in Latin America, particularly in matters of defense and trade. However, since the election of Gustavo Petro as Colombia's first leftist president in 2022, bilateral relations have experienced a notable chill. Colombia has historically relied on Israeli-built warplanes and machine guns in its efforts to combat drug cartels and rebel groups within its borders. Both countries solidified their economic ties with the signing of a free trade agreement in 2020, reflecting their mutual interest in expanding trade and economic cooperation. Despite the recent strains in diplomatic relations, the historical context of military collaboration and economic integration underscores the multifaceted nature of Colombia-Israel relations.